you open the camera you get a picture but obviously that is not what we want we want a picture which is within quotes well composed what is well composed um i think at one level all of us have some instinctual um, sensibility if you look at the pictures which appeal to us uh we'll see that they roughly correspond to certain ground rules there is a picture you in which uh, if you place your key element dead center that's not quite as as uh, as within quotes nice looking as if you keep the subject to the sides going a little further if you happen to um cut the picture into three parts horizontally as well as uh, vertically and then at the points where your lines happen to intersect that is where you put your subject of interest it somehow appeals to us and uh, this evidently was arrived at after uh, after her seeing a lot of pictures which which uh, look good to us and then it became enunciated as a rule of thirds do you have the s curve and maybe you could be no of course you can't have this in in a still photograph mm -hmm. so essentially what you're looking at is dynamism as opposed to staticity dealing with the depth of field essentially you're playing around with a set of variables to this one being the subject to uh, camera distance the other one being the focal length or the zoom yeah and the third is the aperture you can change point to be from this to this Nature's final act of cruelty in the ravaged and wiped out fishing town of Nagapattinam. District officials had pleaded repeatedly with the villagers here to bury their loved ones instead of cremating them. The sea has left countless little children orphaned. It's the end of innocence here in Nagapattinam. So when you go for the political uh, coverage and stuff, so do you keep into consideration the rules and then take the footage, or is it really imbibed in you now? Well, I think uh, a lot of these ground rules sort of become incorporated in shooting over a course of time. So it 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 becomes a reflex. It becomes instinctual. so when i or anybody else would go out shooting that that it would just be um, an instinctual reflex in your eventual resultant broadcast picture you often have lines of ticker which run across the frame so as you probably end up with something which is like this which is not quite done because then you're sort of guillotining your subject um so therefore while composing instead of composing like this you would be composing like this so you want to be keeping the tickers in mind me niche ke liye have 
uh, what kind of principles have you used in your uh, shooting your documentary? Um, uh, during the course of shooting the documentary, I think the principles that we most kept in mind were uh, the vanishing point. For example, to have uh, you know diagonals to give an idea of depth. Take. Yeah. What principles have you used while you were composing your shots? Please stop it. What principles have we used? <laughs> we don't we, we we want we only used one principle and that's not to follow any of the others. And uh, let's see how it turns out. Yeah? Okay. What do you remember about what composition principles? Uh, see, I, I religiously followed the Fibonacci series. And uh, since I've learned that, I'm doing it for still and video both. मुझे आपसे ये पूछना था कि आपने कौन से प्रिंसिपल्स आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्री में इस्तेमाल किए हैं अगर आपने किए हैं फोटो कॉम्पोजिशन को लेकर हाँ जी बेसिकली हमने एंगल्स का उसमें सबसे ज़्यादा ध्यान रखा है फ्रेम का ध्यान रखा है और फ्रेम जितने भी लिए हैं उनके अंदर सबसे ज़्यादा ध्यान रखा है कि हर फ्रेम के अंदर एक डेप 